Hey guys, it's Sasuke here, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac After Birth! Ow! Yeah. <laughs> um, more greed mode today. I know, greed mode central, blah 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 blah, but it has to be done. Um, I'm really enjoying it, and I wouldn't mind just getting it out of the way. I know that sounds bad, because we're gonna play it in the future, of course. If you guys didn't know, there's a secret that unlocks when you, uh... Donate a thousand coins to the greed mo machine. But yeah. Oh Jesus, this is a nightmare. Can we hold the reroll button, please? I don't want to do this. And we did get a bomb. And this happened last time. Oh my God, the money! I don't know if we can. I mean, we can buy the key, of course. I don't know if we can justify spending it on. Items we don't understand. Friendly fly. Okay. Mean. Eh. <laughs> Welcome to the team, I suppose. Hoping for bombs here. Tears up is great. I can see forever is great. Tears down. I mean, we're breaking even here, so. Three keys. Nice. I'm pretty sure that covers greed mode. <laughs> Unless, of course, we need to spend one, which would, you know, suck a little bit. But, uh, here's what I'm thinking. That'll give us a massive damage upgrade, which is going to make this first floor a lot easier. So I think that was a decent idea. You know, it could come back to bite us if we play poorly, but the last run has kind of gotten me in the mood for some good play. I I'm going to think back to our fundamentals. I'm really going to be trying to hone in on what makes Isaac play great. Not, you know, what makes it mediocre and all that bullcrap. We do need bombs still, so any chance we have to find or get those, I would be very happy. I highly doubt we're going to get one, though, so we can pretty much just call that Tinted Rock a wash. As much as I would love for it to be open to us and show us that greedy small rock that we all know exists in that magical man in the sky. What am I even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish we could open it, but I really, really highly doubt it's going to happen. So, oh my god, Mr. Spider. Surprised we have not taken damage yet. It's still very possible to. But our damage is so good at this moment, so. This has been a pretty damn hard set of uh, enemies they've popped up in front of us over and over. Like, these waves have been really big and full of stuff. If only we could pick that bomb up. Say let's go and fight the boss. Uh, no time like the present. <coughs> he says as he dies a little bit. Pretty much the embodiment of no time like the present. This little friendly fly does not deal very much contact damage, unlike an attack fly or something. Alright, one boss down. We need to take care of these flies. And who is it? Alright, nice. Another very easy, simple boss. We just need to kill his flunkies so they don't cause any problems. And if, if at all possible, I'd love to kill the little guy first. He's the more tedious to deal with if you have to. So we're going to do some magical circling techniques like we're fucking playing Mario Kart. You guys remember that? There we go. Get the triple, uh, triple green shell. Do the flanking technique, though. Okay, let's go ahead and fight or deal with the devil, too. I don't see why not. This is actually an extremely hard fight. Holy crap. This early in the game, man, this is nearly a death sentence for, like, every character. Luckily, we're Samson and have that innate damage boost. Because any other character would find this, like, ridiculously hard unless he found a super OP item initially. So, one thing we don't want to do as Samson that we're, we might fall into the trap of doing. Oh, besides just dying, like, that'd be pretty bad, too. But, um, it's very possible that we fall into the trap of doing it, giving all of our red hearts away. But we definitely don't want to, if at all possible. We'd love to just keep all of our red hearts for, you know, possible giving away. So we could have extra damage. This is not ideal, but the red heart is very nice. And that could be good. Guppy's Paw is fine, actually. It's like 100% fine. 31 cents. I think it would be very ill-advised to even buy anything here. I know it could be bombs. We could access that tinted rock because of said bomb. Or it could just be nothing worth you know, use at all. I'm gonna I I'm gonna err on the fact that it could just be useless and ruin our run. Spending all our money too early. And Magic Mushroom seems to think I was kinda on the right side. Normally you'd kinda be like pageant boy, uh, but 
Look at that. Baby girl, you talking to me. I love it. PhD is amazing. I really enjoy PhD. Are you a wizard? Uh, no, I'm not. Thank you. Black Candle is pretty tempting. That might be something we uh, endeavor ourselves to obtain. If we can find more than one reason to have a bomb. You know, I'm going to save this till we get done killing everything in here. Why? Well, it could be a the rune that doubles all the consumables on the ground. I cannot think of it currently, but it could be that. And think how good that would be to get double free sense pretty much. I didn't say free, by the way. I said... Or I didn't say three. I said free. <laughs> if we only got three cents from it, that would be a little bit of a jip considering there's more than three cents on the ground initially. Missing those penny tiers that we had from the last run, to be honest. The extra bit of money that dropped was very nice. It's kind of hard not to pick this stuff up. Just because it's, like, it's taking up a pretty damn big portion of the battlefield at this point. Our damage is actually pretty damn good. Magic Mush will do that for you, I do suppose. Oh, oh, calm down. I hate when they're so far off screen that, like, you can't even comprehend where they are anymore. One more down. Oh! If we could, like, get one to explode. Yes! Oh, we picked up a lot of money. Mistakes were made. But not too bad. Let's just try it here. And it... Okay, that's fine. Um, with this Algas, we're going to try to burn through this boss as soon as possible, is what I'm thinking here. Because it is a large amount of invulnerability. So maybe it'll just give us at least one of these bosses for free. It's something that we couldn't count on, right? Because we there's no way you could have physically known that this would have been an Algas rune. So... I think it's 15 seconds of invulnerability. I could be mistaken about that time. It just feels like forever. Is it just forever? No, there it is. 15, 30, 20 something? I don't know. It was a long, long time. More than long enough to get this entire boss phase done. Alright, there's no more reason to be on here. We don't have an effect active that makes us stronger than we'd normally be. So let's go in here. I think Black Candle might be worth it. The... the Lesser chance of having a curse on the floor is really good. This helped us out a lot a lot last time with the x-ray vision. <clears throat> so that really doesn't do anything for us, sadly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try two crazy things. We got two bombs for the future. We spent 10 cents for a key and two bombs. I mean, I would say it's a pretty good trade. Wow, this is... A frickin' haunt that starts with extra baby ghost. Can we just never see this one again? Like, just take it back, man. I don't want it. I'm feeling pretty confident in this run, though, honestly. We have all the tools we need to succeed. Ow, that was very dumb of me. I wanted to get our... Our fly in there, though. Our bro fly. I know he doesn't do too much damage, but he's still can be in half. So haunt was annoying but he is dead now two black hearts I mean I really wanted an item but <laughs> you can't always get what you want but if you try sometimes you just might find there's one more poop to shoot that had nothing <laughs> fair enough let's leave what are we in need of everything we need damage consumables items Everything. Sticky shot is good. The chance to uh, stick a tear to an enemy and it'll explode dealing lots of damage is a mighty fine thing to have. Wow, that was dumb. But it's fine because we killed everything that popped out. I don't think it's worth walking over the spikes for a bomb. I don't think anything here is worth it. <laughs> Oh boy, we're not we're not getting very good items this time. I guess last time we exhausted our pool of good items almost entirely, which is fair. <clears throat> it's fair. As much as I'm not a fan of the idea of not getting very many items, I do recognize that last time we literally got like every good item in the game. So I'm a man that understands it. I'm just not a man that likes it. <laughs> I'd rather not understand it, but. 
For better or not. For better or worse, I do understand it. Alright, come on. Alright, you're you're just trying to ruin my day here at this point. Hey, this should work well. One of these things should work well here. So those turrets, I think if we just circle around, ow. Well, we got one of them dead, so we may as well try to kill this one whenever he walks in here. Damn it, he stopped right before the edge. And now he's playing Ring Around the Rosies with us. Pocket full of posies. Damn it. I hate these turrets, man. Okay. Well, that was more damage that we should not have taken. You couldn't even see that dip under there. Okay. He is dead. I don't think there's any reason to go back in there right now. Let's just go ahead and fight the boss. It's a relatively easy boss, actually. Ooh. It, it's a boss that can you can easily take damage to. It also makes a mockery of our exploding tears by jumping everywhere, which is unfortunate. I didn't even see that spider because of the black stuff on the ground from the gish poop, which is kind of sad. But that's one boss down. We're getting a little overconfident considering we have like zero freaking damage. So Blow is another boss that kind of ruins our day a little bit. Unless we get plenty of free explosions here. Oh, nice. That went so well. Okay. Two? Wow, this is a lot of lust. These are some lusty individuals here. And lust. One, two, and three are down. We got a deal with the angel where we picked up crown of light. What the hell does this item do? I have no idea. Um, I don't really want any of this, man. We are going another floor with pretty much no items. Did we check the curse room? I don't think we did. It's an Isaac bed. I mean, it'll bring us back to full HP technically. It's not really what we want, but I guess it's better than not having full HP. Another Isaac's bed. I guess we probably, well, I mean, we would have checked the curse room either way, so I can't say I guess we should have checked that room first, because either way, we were probably going to check both of them. Let's be honest here. Little Gertie, I don't think he actually helps, but I don't think he hurts. Now, I do remember there being a Tears Up. Pretty fly. Metamesis, puberty. Puberty. Pretty disappointing uh, bit of bills there. Donation machine, hi. So what I'm thinking is, if we have a chance to blah, blah, blah. a chance to constructively get rid of our HP, that's a good thing for us, right? Because we, we're wanting to get rid of some of it anyway. I should have placed that bomb down and then used that. It's a minor mistake. That could prove to be more than minor later, but I hope not. I think we'll do one more and try to get the double play. We didn't. But we got a pill that is another pretty fly. Pretty damn good. And that pretty much worked out just as I wanted it to. Infested? Question mark? I want to blow this guy up. There's a chance he has something on him. It was two more cents. Uh, I definitely want to reroll some of these items. They're not what we need. BFF is good. But we don't have anything that really works with it right now. Meat, I mean, it's HP up, and I think we kind of need it at this point. Chaos, I, I like chaos and greed mode, and I, I don't mind trying our luck for this. This is just another one bomb. We could bomb the crap out of that if we really want to. I'm looking for tented rocks. None of these look tented to me, but we do have a nice damage upgrade for this floor. So it shouldn't be too difficult, to be honest and honest. I really don't like these enemies, though. These always give me trouble. Oh, itchy nose, itchy nose. Run around because you have an itchy nose. The thing I don't like is that they don't take tear damage from the... Um, the tear that sticks to them, they don't take tear damage. Which, I don't understand why. That's kind of dumb. Actually, I'm starting to not lean towards not liking this item because of that fact. I'm not saying it's a bad item necessarily. It's <laughs> definitely above average, but I'm I'm starting to see more of its uh, downsides now that I'm kind of 
used to it, I suppose. Alright, so let's just take this room kinda slowly. Okay, so they have to come from a downwards angle here, so we can skirt around the room pretty slowly. There we go. Oh, he almost exploded just right beside us. I think it's... I thought there was one guy underground, too. Alright, we have 26 cents. What can we buy? Experimental treatment is not my cup of tea. I'd love an act. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Now we're one item away from Guppy. Hematomesis. Another pretty flight. We're triple pretty flight out now. That feels pretty good. Plenty of HP if we need it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we get here on our double two. Is this double blighted ovum? Why are these triangles? I don't know what the triangles mean. It looks like they deal more damage or something, maybe? Or maybe that was just a really weak boss for some reason. Oh no. Oh sh talky mushrooms have scared me. I have no idea what these triangles do actually. I'm trying to work it out in my head, but I just I'm not coming up with anything. Okay, so he's off his high horse, literally. Right, the boss is dead. We'll go ahead and fight this. This is a very scary boss fight. But I think they're going to work against each other eventually, because they'll poison each other, right? Oh my god, that is a lot of stuff happening in that direction. One of them is down already. And there's the second one, and he's down. Now I just need to take care of the little dips that are hanging around. The piece of dips. And a duel with the devil. I wasn't really expecting, but come on, guppy! It's not guppy. It is. Isn't that HP though? Like that just does. Pretty much gives us free stats. I'm done with free stats. Puberty does nothing. Puberty. I can see forever. We have X ray goggles, so it doesn't matter. Forever. I can see forever. Um, maybe we should just wait till the next floor. We could try re rolling this. Maybe we should use our one bomb on it, but I don't know. You never know what you might find on the next floor that you would be happy to uh, have the bomb for. What I'm thinking of is when we don't have full HP, these tiers aren't in their weird little like diamond shape. So maybe when we have full HP we deal more damage or something? I'm not quite sure. Sack Dagger, uh, yes. Is that Guppy? Are we Guppy? Oh my god, we're Guppy. It's so good. Alright, more money. More good stuff. Looks like our tiers are smaller, but that makes sense actually, now that I think about it. Yes. <laughs> blow this up or blow you two up? Maybe blow you two up. Let's go ahead and try this. We get a free HP for our trouble. There's a chance to become Juice of Shadow. I don't think we're going to take. But there is Spectral Tears, and I might take it up on Spectral Tears. Holy crap. Alright, Gertie Jr. You have to do your best, brother. I don't know where this guy came from. Was there really a skull there and I just didn't see it? Holy crap. Gertie Jr. is going off, though. Sack Dagger saving us a little bit of damage there. We got the disgusting heads. Now we have the the boss that should not be here. Let's all be honest on that one. We know he doesn't deserve to be here. We're just letting him... We're humoring him. So he doesn't feel bad. We got double incubi. We got tons of ghosts. Man, these ghosts can be murderers, though. Like, you might be thinking, the ghosts don't deserve to be here. No. The ghosts are bastards. They deserve to be here. And they know it. Is there two bosses here? No. I was about to say yes. Turned out the answer was no. We got a uh, blind horseman guy. White pony douche. Whatever you want to call him. Same difference. The reason we call him that is because he drops the white pony. I don't think we want either of these. Spectral Tears is probably the only thing that I would want, but not really. So Blank Card and Sad Bomb. Sad Bombs always leads to interesting stuff. I 
I'm gonna try it. I don't think it actually works, but I'm willing to give it a shot because if it did, oh, it does work. That's, ow. <laughs> that hurt a little bit. Krampus, kind of expected it to be 100% honest with you. Have to fight the Krampus eventually. Krampus' head's not gonna be better than Anarchist Cookbook with the newfound synergy. I don't know if I'd even reroll our run right now. It's interesting enough that I would want to keep it. Is there anything we want? We can blow this up. I gave plenty of money, wow. Then we can do this and get a nice double reroll. I want better. Squeezy is good enough. Give us some free spirit hearts as well. And D20. There's one more floor after this, I'm pretty sure, that we could D20. I think it's going to be worth it. I'm pretty sure this is a win either way. We have enough damage to beat Ultra Greed. Though it might take forever, we do have the damage to do it. So I'm not really worried about the uh, Ultra Greed fight. As dismissive as that does sound. Infinite Keys, I don't know where we'd find the use for it. Well, that is one of the uses for it. Free HP is mighty fine for me. Go and blow these two fellows up. I mean, this isn't as cool as our last run, but it's getting the job done. Alright, so we're going to try to keep all the stuff on the floor, if at all possible. So we can reroll it all. Sometimes things don't necessarily have to be OP to be good. And this is just one of those good solid runs. I mean, we got Guppy, we have pretty damn decent damage. We have scaling damage, which is something you, can, you can't you can always say for yourself. Our damage gets better over the course of a uh, area. I think we actually killed that guy. Nice, we did. All these little Isaac guys can just F off, man. I don't like that we don't have our diamond anymore. Why do we not have the diamond? I don't understand the uh, logic behind that. If you guys have any idea about that diamond, please uh, feel free to let me know. I am lost and found and turned around by the fire in your eyes. Please quit placing bombs. You're going to ruin my perfect stack I got going over there. Ooh, Sag Dagger almost took him out. There goes some of the stuff flying around. But it actually, we didn't pick any of it up. I'm impressed. Oh my god. Greed, are you going to drop a bunch of money for us, baby? Oh, don't, don't do that. We're having to dodge money, too? Okay. So first, let's go in here. Anything we want, maybe. Let's go ahead and just re-roll. Accidentally picked up a scent. That's fine. The odds of getting a re-roll, the ability to re-roll, is pretty low. Okay, so there's no way we can re-roll unless this is 48 hour energies. It's not. Magician is decent. We'll use this for the uh, boss fight. The rest of this we'll just pick up. It's perfectly fine. I think that was a pretty good use of the D20. I don't... Maybe it wasn't the best, but uh, it was good enough. Go ahead and pop the devil too. Why not? The devil. I really hate this last bit anyway. See, now our tears are back to the diamonds again. I don't know why. Oh, hi. I don't necessarily know what that represents. What do we got here? Blank rune. Blank rune. A was. We use one. A was. Ooh, nice. What we got? Ooh, it's a black market. <clears throat> okay, so... We'll do this. Blow these two gents up. I completely forgot that we had, uh, we had, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit and things, you know. We'll just blow all these up. I don't think we want anything else. We're perfectly fine with what we have. I just walk into the fire, too. That's a good measure right there. You gotta make sure they know who's boss. 
Was that Burkano? I think that was Burkano. Yeah, yeah, sadly it's wasted, but there's no way you can know with the blank rune. I think we're just going to start keeping our money. Maybe unless this we can get these bombs to reroll this into something godlike. What is that? Oh, that's that new thing we don't know. The cracked dice. Okay, homing bombs? No. We're already guppy, so thanks for no thanks. That's something interesting enough to take. Alright, and we'll leave with that. On that note, we will go fight. I don't even know how our uh, tears look. A little worrisome, but I think we're fine. It seems like our damage is good enough. Those guys with the money on their eyes, they actually drop money. I'm just... Not I don't know if I'm just now noticing this or if I've known this for a while now and just like not put it in my memory bank for whatever reason. I don't know. Oh my god, he just stole all that money. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little upset about that to be 100% honest with you. A little bit upsetting. And there goes our, our thing. I don't know what that is. Oh shit. Well, we got rid of most of them. Okay, getting some more buddies to spawn. Kinda wish we had infestation too at this point. Uh we have to like hide beside him. Pick up most of this money. Nice, we actually got more money than uh or I think we've equaled out to the money that we came in here with. Not necessarily my best trade, but sometimes you gotta get what you can. Run into most of the hearts. Oh, we got some of them down. We got enough to where he didn't benefit from HP. He only gets the enrage bonus, I'm pretty sure. And with all these stacked explosions, man, it's pretty sick. The kind of stuff it does over time. We got four out of, what, like six or seven there? Oh, hi. It's kind of lame. It's really hard. If this guy hits you too many times, you kind of just get boned and you lose a lot of money for it. So that's pretty much an extra little bonus to not getting hit is you get to keep most of your money. You should be dead any minute here with these explosions coming soon. Our speed is so good we can kind of just run away from anything he can ever do to us. Okay. Now we've unlocked Lusty Blood. We're at 220 in. We need to get to 1,000 is where you unlock the secret, which I, I won't say here, but if you guys want to know, you can feel free to look it up. But that's what we're headed to. We're headed to a thousand, um, thousand buckaroonies. Special shopkeepers, I don't know what that is, but we have them. We're headed towards a thousand buckaroonies in the greed machine for uh, the secret. And we're at 246, so that's not bad. If you guys like to hit that like button, it shows appreciation for the series. It lets me know you're enjoying it and all that good stuff. If you guys did like it, leave a comment down in the comment section below because I read and respond to every single one. Um, whether it's good criticism, bad criticism, you letting me know something I asked in the video, or if you guys just want to chat, I'm down with all that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Recommend to anybody who may be interested, and I hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole damn world. See you guys.